You know, if there's anybody in the world who loves tassels as much as I do, I think it's Candy Cooper, right? You got that right. <laughs> I can't get enough. I can't get enough. And so you brought some awesome tassels here. And the thing that I was amazed with, because I thought we were going to learn how to assemble the necklace, is that we're actually going to make the tassels from the beginning and the bale and do that all out of leather. Total package. Which is really cool. I mean, you could <laughs> do some other stuff. I love this one that's made with canvas. That's totally up my alley. Silk. You know, yeah, yeah, all sorts of fun stuff. So yeah. how are we going to get started? We're going to start by picking the dye mm -hmm. um, to cut the fringe. So we're going to go with just the basic uh, rectangle shape. I'll show you. It'll make more sense in a minute. Don't worry. And you're using these really cool metallic leathers that I, I think that's just neat to you get your bling without even needing to add a single jewel. Yeah. I, well, I love bohemian chic style jewelry and this um, surface. Does it matter which side it. of the leather you put down? Because obviously one side is metallic and one side is brown. Totally. I like to put the pretty side down. It doesn't really matter. You're not going to mess it up. But I just feel like it's, I get more success putting it face down. Okay. I just like the way it looks. So then you can see, like, when I peel this up, how about it? Your fringe is on me. It's so good, right? And you'll still have to pull the ends apart a little bit. That's pretty typical. You could cut them, too. Mm -hmm. But now um, I want to cut a couple other pieces. Do you want to yeah. pull, pull fringe? You know what I, I like cut? so much about pulling it apart is it gives it that little bit of distress that I always think makes something look really worn and not, like, fresh out of the box. Right. So um, on that particular necklace, I also made a bale using some other dyes. So... I went ahead, I'm going to go ahead and put the pretty side. We're going to do a little different color just so I can show you the basics of it. And then let's pull out this teal. You can actually Ooh. cut two pieces of leather at a time. You know what I mean? Yeah, I see, because you're just placing them on there. So easy. And of course, if you didn't have all these colors of leather, you can paint leather, right? You can totally paint, stamp, I love do you Do you have to use a special leather paint, or can you just use your regular acrylic paint, craft paint? I use acrylic, and then I just seal it with like a semi-satin acrylic varnish. But how about so cool. it? So cool. So, so easy. This I'll show you how this works in a minute. But if you're making production jewelry and you want to stamp out a, or cut a bunch of pieces fast... That's how I do it. So now, the way this works is we're just going to use some, I'm using like a, a gel quick drying adhesive, but. Um, and you're just going to glue the two pieces of leather together. And obviously you could, I can see you can do so many different color combinations for different kinds of looks. Right. And I've already got one I've done, but you can, there's lots of different multi-purpose adhesives. This one dries really fast, but you just want to center that up. And then I've got one done, but you get the idea. Yeah, 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 super cool. So you have to wait for it to dry, obviously. Yep. And I noticed that the one that you have done is just, it's two, it's different colors than we use, but it's the same exact yeah. shape. Yeah, yes. And then I was thinking about this. I was like, wouldn't it be cool to go back through and cut another shape out in the middle? I think that would look so nice. I think that would be really cool. Anyway, okay, so now we've got our, back to our fringe and our tassels. The first thing we're going to do is make the loop part of it. So you've got... So this is how your fringe becomes a tassel. How does it grow into a tassel? Right, so you're going to fold it over to the edge, and then you're going to roll it again so that you just have a teeny tiny loop sticking huh. up over the edge. Now... We're just going to put... I never would have thought to do that. I would have just started rolling. You're going to freak out. What is the reason? Is this a loop that... Oh, wait a second. Wait, my brain is going. I'm getting excited. Is this so that you actually have a loop to hang the whole... Yes. Oh, my God. You're so brilliant. That's one step. I, um, you know, this is like if you tear tassels apart, you know, you've learned tricks. I, 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 oh my God, I like, I can't speak. I'm so excited about this idea. <laughs> I've seen this happen multiple times, but you can see how I'm just rolling this tassel up. You wouldn't have to make it this fat either. Oops, I got a little crooked, but you get the idea. Um, you wouldn't have to make it this fat. Mm -hmm. You could also cut, cut it in half, put super glue it into an end finding. Mm -hmm. So many different options when it comes to making tassels. Oh, that's so nice. So sometimes I know people see these at the jewelry store or in the craft store and wonder what they are, but this is basically a bead cap, right, that you can put on to make things look a little more finished. A little more finished. That's all the name of the game is. So now I'm just rolling a little bit of wire around some round nose pliers. I'm going to hope that I left put myself a big enough loop. Put it through your brilliant loop. <laughs> And you then, know, sometimes it's these simple ideas, though, that make such a difference when you're making something to just give a really finished, beautiful result. Yeah. And the thing of it is, is, like, you don't have to stop there. You can wrap, like, the wire around the tassel. Like, you can just, I mean, this is you all about playing. You can make it fancy. Playing. You could add beads. Yeah. You could, like, you could paint it at this point, you know what I mean, instead of having to paint it before. Totally. Now, we're going to finish the bale. Now, I've been really scared I was going to forget to do this, but you're, this is already uh, just a strand of beads I strung up. 
It's beautiful. I love the colors you've chosen. I think this like turquoisey color with these browns is so beautiful. I can't get enough of turquoise and brown. Now, so to create the bale, I see you've just folded that in half. So easy. I just folded our pretty little mm -hmm. florally looking piece. I got my hole punch ready to go. Wow, and you're punching through basically four layers four of leather. Four layers of leather. One of my little pieces didn't come out, but you get the idea. And then now I need to cut my... Do you want me to hold that for you? Do oh, wow. Mind? I was going to say, because it looks like you have 12 hands. I feel like you're used to doing this. I've got skills. Julie Mad Faye skills. <laughs> I've got skills. So now I'm just making that 90 degree bend. I take this for granted doing this stuff. but And then you're going to wrap it around your round nose pliers. Make a little loopy. So easy. And then hook this part in. You could also just do jump rings. Like if you know how to open and close jump rings. Mm -hmm. um, that's what I did on the finished piece over there. Jump Wait a rings. second. I'm now realizing that because of the way you created the bale, this is a completely removable bale. So yeah. you could switch it to another strand, thus making basically you have a pendant that is now customizable for a lot of different necklaces depending on your mood. Yeah. That's and like, totally genius. You can cut that leather free or that wire free or you can give it a little twirl, but um, it's fun just playing around with the different things that you can do with the, the connections. That's beautiful. Now, this is a beautiful piece of jasper, right? Yep. That's one of my favorite stones. I always think it has so many nice, beautiful Picture patterns. Picture jasper. That's why you like it because it's supposed to look kind of like a paint, painting. Now, I'm putting that edge of the leather to the back. See how that was showing at first? Now I just twisted that around. We got a pretty little bale necklace pendant piece. That is beautiful. I love it. And I and I love the necklace you're wearing, which actually you have sort of a variation of it over here, I can see. Yeah, so it's easier to explain with these if mm -hmm. I hold them up. But I just used some different kind of fringe dies to create this fringe. And then this one is actually like a spiral tassel. So by having that tapered edge, you can get a tapered tassel I see effect. longer and shorter. So the thing that I think is so cool is we've used this here for jewelry, but obviously I can see you could put it on clothing, you could bags, put it on bags, a book, all sorts chains. of fun stuff. This is awesome. Thank you. I'm tassel and fringe crazy. Me too.